The Life and Sad Ending of Jonathan Frakes Jonathan Frakes was born Jonathan Scott Frakes on August 19, 1952, in Belfont, Pennsylvania, U.S. Frakes grew up in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. A 1970 graduate of Bethlehem's Liberty High School, he ran track and played with the Liberty High School Grenadier Band. Frakes received a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theater Arts at Pennsylvania State University in 1974, where he was a member of the Thespians. While growing up, he was introduced to jazz by his father and started playing the trombone when he was in fourth grade. As a child, he was always friendly, funny, and somewhat of an actor, according to a childhood friend. Frakes first met actress Jeannie Francis on the set of the television soap opera Bear Essence, and again while filming the miniseries North and South. They began dating in 1985, became engaged in 1986, and married on May 28, 1988. The couple has two children. They moved from Belfast, Maine, to Beverly Hills, California, in 2008 and later moved to Calabasas, California. For a time in the 1970s, Frakes worked for Marvel Comics, appearing at conventions in costume as Captain America. Frakes moved to New York City and became a member of the Impossible Ragtime Theater. In that company, Frakes did his first off-Broadway acting in Eugene O'Neill's The Hairy Ape directed by George Ferentz. His first Broadway appearance was in Shenandoah. At the same time, he landed a role in the NBC soap opera The Doctors. When his character was dismissed from the show, Frakes moved to Los Angeles and had guest spots in many of the top television series of the 1970s and 1980s, including The Waltons in an episode called The Legacy, Eight is Enough, Heart to Heart, The Dukes of Hazard, Matlock, Quincy, M.E. in the Face of Fear, and Hill Street Blues. He played the part of Charles Lindbergh in a 1983 episode of Voyagers, titled An Arrow Pointing East. In 1983, he had a role in the short-lived NBC primetime soap opera Bear Essence and a supporting role in the equally short-lived primetime soap Paper Dolls in 1984. He also had recurring roles in Falcon Crest and the miniseries North and South. Frakes appeared in the 1986 miniseries Dream West. In 1987 Frakes was cast in the role of Commander William T. Riker on Star Trek, The Next Generation. He was one of only two actors to appear in every episode until the series' conclusion in 1994. He also directed 14 episodes of the show and reprised his role in the spin-off movies, two of which he also directed. As well as Star Trek, The Next Generation, Frakes has made appearances in Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, Star Trek, Voyager, Star Trek, Enterprise, Star Trek, Picard, and Star Trek, Lower Decks, making him the only Star Trek regular to appear on six different Star Trek series. He has also directed episodes in five of the series. He is also one of six Star Trek actors to lend their voices to the video game Star Trek, Captain's Chair, reprising his role as Riker when users visit the Enterprise D bridge featured in the game. Much of Frake's acting work after Star Trek has been animation voice acting, most notably voicing the recurring role of David Xanados in the animated series Gargoyles, and he provided the voice of his own head in a jar in the Futurama episode where no fan has gone before. He had a small, uncredited role in the 1994 movie Camp Nowhere. Frakes was also the voice of Finn the human's adult version in the episodes Puhoy and Dungeon Train on Adventure Time. Frakes was an executive producer for the WB series Roswell, directed several episodes, and guest starred in three episodes. His relationship with Star Trek is made light of in the season three episode Secrets and Lies, in which the alien character Max auditions for a guest role as an alien for Star Trek, Enterprise. He appeared on the 1994 Fish album Hoist, playing trombone on the track titled Riker's Mailbox. 
Frakes would occasionally perform on the trombone during his tenure as Commander Riker, drawing on his college marching band experience. He was also a member of the Sunspots, a vocal backup group of Star Trek cast members that appeared on Brent Spiner's 1991 album OL Yellow Eyes is Back. Frakes and Francis appeared together in Lois and Clark in the episode Don't Tug on Superman's Cape as a creepily too good to be true couple. He narrated the History Channel's That's Impossible. In addition to Roswell, Frakes has directed episodes of Leverage, Castle, NCIS, Los Angeles, Burn Notice, Falling Skies, and most recently Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Switched at Birth, Hit the Floor, The Librarians, and The Orville. Frakes works with the workshops, the Waterfall Arts Center, and the Saltwater Film Society, all located in Maine, where he teaches classes on film direction. He and his wife owned a home furnishing store in Belfast, Maine, called The Cherished Home, which closed in August 2012 due to his wife being too busy with her acting to spend adequate time at the store. Frakes had a younger brother, Daniel, who died in 1997 of pancreatic cancer. Life always has happy times, sad times. I understand the rules of life will feel lighter. Sometimes the saddest is just to help me feel the joys and happiness of the future to come more fully. If you understand that, you will receive sadness easily with the hope that after the sadness is the joy waiting to come.